Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this guide I'm going to show you how to set up a Next.js project as a Telegram mini app. You will learn how to use environment variables, connect to a MongoDB database, link with a Telegram bot, seed the database, deploy the app to Vercel and use the deployed app as a Telegram mini app. Let's get started. As an example for this video, I'll be using my ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game project. It's a full stack Next.js 14 project with a beautiful front end design and robust server side functions. You can buy it now with a 15% discount. Simply connect your Tone wallet to the website, sign the payment transaction and download the code right away. In the future, you can download updates by connecting the wallet you used for payment. Check updates in the Telegram channel, all links are in the description. Open the project directory in VS Code. Install the dependencies, npm install, create environment variables .env and .env.local. Open the .env file, add the MongoDB URL variable. We need to provide a URL to our MongoDB database, so let's create the database first. Sign up on mongodb.com. Create a new cluster. You can select the free version and leave the other configurations as they are. Create a new database user. You'll need this information to connect to your database and maintain operations on the server side. Never reveal this information to anyone as it could compromise your database security. I'm showing you this now because I'll delete this project after recording this video. Click Create Database User. Choose a connection method. Drivers. Copy your connection string. Click Done. Wait for cluster to be deployed and reload the page. Click Browse Collection. Now we have only the sample database. Click Create Database. Database name Telegram underscore clicker. Collection name Test. Click Create. Now we have an empty database Telegram Clicker. Go to Network Access. Add IP address. Allow access from anywhere. Confirm. We allow access from anywhere for testing purposes, so we don't have to add a new IP address every time. Go back to VS Code. Paste the connection string. Add the database name before the question mark. Telegram underscore clicker. Add the variable bypass telegram aus and set it to true for testing purposes as we'll be running this app on our local PC first, outside of the telegram ecosystem. In the file .env.local add the variable next public bypass telegram auth equals to true for the same reason. We have a file called schema.prisma that contains the structure of our database. We need to run npx prisma generate to generate the necessary client code for interacting with our database. Let's see how our database looks like right now. As you can see, we have only one empty collection called test. Run the app. npm run dev. Copy the link and open it in your browser. The same way as it's implemented in Hamster Combat, the main page is a landing page. To get to the actual game, we need to go to the clicker page. The game is loaded and we see unknown user 
as the name because we are running it in test mode outside of the Telegram ecosystem, in our database we have a new collection called user, with one user who has a Telegram ID of undefined. We can click on the card to earn some points. Notifications about points synchronization are for testing purposes. We can see the changed values in the database right away. It has seamless synchronization of front-end and back-end. Open the Boost page. We can't upgrade multi-tab or energy because we don't have enough points. Go to the Mine page. We can't upgrade the mine because we don't have enough points. To test these features, we can go to the database and manually increase the number of points for our user. Reload the page. As you can see, now we have 80,000 points and the third level. We can upgrade multitap, we can upgrade energy. Every time you see the notification, it means the changes are reflected on the server side and saved to the database. Now we get 4 points per click. We can upgrade mine. It's just amazing how fast it synchronizes with the server and database. The decimal part of the points is shown for testing purposes. Open the database and reload the page. We see that all the changes we just made are reflected here. What else do we have here? A friends page, where we can invite our friends on Telegram. An earn page with tasks, which is now empty. We will see our database with tasks later in this video. And an airdrop page, where we can provide our tone wallet. We can check how our app looks on different screen sizes using Chrome Developer Tools, it is designed to be used on mobile devices and it looks awesome on them. We can also test it with some unusual dimensions. The app is fully flexible and adapts to every possible screen size, even the weird ones. Our testing is complete. We can deploy the app to the Versal. Open your GitHub profile. Create a new repository. Let's call it Clicker Game. Make it private, so nobody will be able to copy your project or find out about your game design. Click Create Repository. Copy the Git link. Go to VS Code. Type git init git add dot git commit m initial commit git remote add origin and paste the link. And the final git push u original master. Open the GitHub repository. Reload the page. It should be updated. Go to vercel.com, add new project, select your GitHub repository, add two environment variables. The first one is database URL. The second one is bot token. Open the bot father on Telegram. New bot. Give it some name and username. Our bot is ready. Copy the token. Paste it for environment variable bot token. Click deploy. Wait for deployment to be completed. Go to Dashboard, open the link and navigate to the Clicker page. Copy the URL, go to Botfather on Telegram. New app, select the bot, give it a title, short description, upload an image, skip the give step, paste URL, choose a short name, and now our app is ready to launch. Let's run it. As you can see, in production mode, inside the Telegram, it shows our Telegram name. 
Let's do the same test we did before. Do some clicks, try to upgrade inside the mine page or inside the boost page. Go to database and check for new data. We have a new user with a real Telegram ID. Open the app and see how seamlessly the synchronization works between the Telegram mini-app and the database. We can click in the app and see the changes in the database. Modify the number of points to test upgrades in the app. Reload the app, do some clicks, mine upgrades, multi-tab upgrades, energy upgrades, repeat the process. All the game changes are reflected in the database. You can see these values are the same as we have in our Telegram mini app. On the friends page we can copy invite link to invite our friends. The earn page doesn't have any tasks yet. The airdrop page allows us to provide our tone wallet address. Let's seed the database with tasks. Open VS Code. Inside the const.ts file we have the earn data array containing tasks for our app. Inside the seed.ts file we have a script that can help us seed the database with the tasks array. Let's run it. npx prisma db seed. Now check the app. We have our tasks and we can complete them. We need to have three friends to complete this task. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.